Mecca's guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing the Halo Infinite Winter Update and in this video we're going to grab the Mix Things Up achievement for getting at least one kill with every available weapon and grenade on the banished ship. A lot of people are having issues with this, let me show you exactly how I did it. From the main menu, I started a brand new game on easy with none of the skulls active. This isn't necessarily true for everyone, but it seems to be what allows most people to unlock this with the least issues. In the first room, we're going to spawn in with the pistol and with the assault rifle. Grab the two grunts in front of you with both of these weapons. Then we can turn around and we can grab a shotgun, the bulldog, and the battle rifle. The bulldog will spawn directly above you from where we started this first area. And the battle rifle will spawn just a little bit to the left on top of a container that moves into place as you play. So wait about 30 to 60 seconds for this container to move down, revealing the battle rifle inside. That will be our third and fourth weapon. A lot of people are reporting issues with this achievement, so I did do it solo. I don't recommend doing it in co-op. Like I said, I did do it on a fresh save. I made sure not to die, and I did not pause my game. You are free to use your weapons on the grunts, and I did use the plasma cannon. There is also an issue affecting people who are in the dashboard preview program. If you're in that program and can't get the achievement to unlock, you can wait for an in-game update or opt out and that might fix your issue as well. So as we move into the next room, the battle rifle and the shotgun will be weapons three and four. And then for the next three weapons, we're gonna use the plasma pistol, the mangler, and the needler. These will be found either from the grunts on the ground or from the weapon and racks nearby. This will bring us to seven unique weapons and grenades. The needler can be found on the weapon rack at the end of the hall in the next room after killing the kind of rampaging brute. So like I said, after we killed the rampaging brute, we're gonna go and grab the needler. So we'll grab it off of the wall and we'll kill a couple of enemies in the next room with the needler. There are also some fusion coils in here. Some people reported that they did use fusion coils. I made sure that I didn't kill anyone with any fusion coils and still unlock the achievement, which means I don't believe they are necessary. After that, you can progress to the next room and the next room after that, then as you approach the outdoor area here, you will be able to pick up the pulse carbine on the right hand side as you make your way to the elevator. This weapon is also dropped off of a couple of different types of enemies, but I highly recommend just grabbing it here and using it right away so we can throw it out. For the most part, as I did want to proceed through the mission quickly, I did use the mangler. After grabbing a couple of kills and waiting for the elevator and taking the elevator up, we can now grab all three grenade types, which are the frag grenade, the spike grenade, and the plasma grenade. The frag grenades are directly in front of you as you exit the elevator on the ground, so pick those up. There's gonna be more than two, but you should be able to lob two into the first group of grunts you see to grab those kills. Enter the door on your left, and at the back of the room, you will find spike grenades. There's at least two, and then there's another two in the hallway just next to them. I would recommend either just sticking a brute or trying to just get some splash damage on some grunts. This will get you the spike grenade as well. You can then move on to the next room, and in the next room, we can find the plasma grenade available at the very back. So I'm just gonna skip and ignore all of the enemies, go to the back and pick up the plasma grenades. Here, there will be four available to you. And again, you can try to either stick a brute or just get some splash damage on grunts. Make sure you grab all three of the grenade types. You should have all of them done by now. If you miss too many grenades and you don't think you'll find more, you may have to restart the whole mission. After the room with the plasmas, head up the ramp. You should see a door with a couple of enemies where you will need to go to progress the mission. Here you will also see a mounted plasma cannon, which is basically a turret. And you will need to use this. It does count and is necessary. So just hop on the turret and unmount it or blow it off of its stand and then kill at least one or two enemies with it before moving on to the next room. We 
Now I'm obviously skipping the cutscenes to keep this nice and brief, but in this room there will be one specific enemy we really need to grab because they have the Ravager, which is a unique weapon that we'll need to get a kill with. So this is the kind of red brute and they usually spawn at the very end of the platform. I had a little bit of a hard time finding them here, but they are like a full on chieftain with armor and everything and they have a Ravager. Uh, kill them and pick up that Ravager. For me, it ended up falling down off of the ledge. Feel free to press down in the D-pad to use your scanner to find it. But once you have this Ravager off of this specific enemy, go and grab a couple of kills with it and then try to just proceed the mission. There's one more weapon left, but it's in about five minutes from now. A little bit later on in the mission, you'll be navigating across these falling platforms and then you'll end up in a room with a couple of grunts. I think there's even a shield jackal and a brute. If you use your scanner, you'll reveal a hidden hydra on the left hand side as you enter the new structure. Use that hydra on the last couple of enemies and bam, hopefully your achievement unlocks. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. Make sure you drop a like on the video and recommend the video to a friend. Thank you to Tim Bhutan for putting together a list of all of these locations and sharing them with me and a special thanks everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.